my friends and welcome to my master bathroom. So I have yet to show my master bathroom, um, so I figured today, I just cleaned it yesterday and I would go ahead and show you guys I just got out of the shower. So I'm just gonna give you a little bathroom tour. Give me a big thumbs up if you like tours of our home. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Click the notification bell and let's get started. Okay, so this is my master bedroom that I'm standing in right now. So when you come in, this is what it looks like. We actually have, do you see that that right there? We have someone coming tomorrow to like the warranty guy because that's been like that since we moved in, which is like super unacceptable. So when you first walk to the left, there is the toilet. So we just have a trash can, fancy. Um, I got this cute little pink toilet brush cleaner at Marshall's, some toilet bowl cleaner, we have a little shelf and a little picture. It's super simple. I haven't really like, I haven't done too much in here because we plan on like changing stuff. So I've just kind of been, you know, putting little bits up here and there. It's kind of nice you can just close it off because really who wants to look at a toilet? Nobody. So then to the right, we have the bathtub, which is surprisingly small. It's funny because it looks quite big, but when you get in there, it's kind of like short. So it's not the greatest bathtub and Jay and I don't really take baths very often. So honestly, it gets used like maybe once a month. If the kids want to have like a bubble bath, then Lily will be like, I'll light candles in her for her and I'll put bubbles and she'll use it like that. But it really never gets used. So then over here we have a little, um, kind of like a little, I don't know, what do you want to call it? Cabinet? No, it's not a cabinet. I don't know, storage thing. It's bamboo. I got it on sale at Bed Bath & Beyond and I love it. So I keep some towels down there. And then in here I have like a ton of body lotions. And then we have our Epsom salts right there. Um, Jay did tweak his back. So he did use the bath actually and use those and he said he really liked it. Um, then we have our little incense burner and then this little basket I just thrifted. And then this is where I keep all of the oils and stuff because when anyone does take a bath, I always put oils in there to make it smell really nice. And then I've got some body scrub, my everyday oils that I use. So I use this one in the morning. This is the Mama Bee Burt's Bees Lemon Oil. And then in the evening, I use the Dermalogica one. Someone asked me, what do I use in my hair to make it look kind of wet? I sleep in oils and then it gets in my hair. So those are the two oils that I use the most. Um, and then it lifts up and then I keep all my pedicure stuff in here. So that's that little section. And then we go over to the vanity. So the vanity we didn't get a choice on because we bought this home when it was like halfway through construction. So it had already been chosen for um, the, the house. So ideally we're probably gonna either just replace the whole thing or we're going to paint it. I'm not quite sure. We might just paint it in the meantime, um, but it's really not our style, so it's fine for now. Um, and then we have Jay's side, so he's got his sink with his little water pit cleaner and toothbrush and spray and all that kind of stuff. And then this right here is where I keep all of my products in, because I used to have it up high, like on a shelf, and it was so annoying to clean the mirror. So, um, you know, if I just need to give it a quick little wipe. So I just keep some of this stuff in here. So that's where I have like my serums, my lotions, my eye creams. I'm currently using this. I love this, this one's really good. You know, all my little bits and bobs. Um, I'm gonna burn myself trying to close this. And then in here I keep extra little jewelry. And then in here I keep cotton pads. I got these in the dollar section at Target a while ago. I have a candle that it's duty time um, sent to me when she gave me her robes and then I usually just have my phone in here when I'm like getting ready and then this is my sink so I've got this these are from Target and they're really cute um, this is where I keep my Invisalign um, in the daytime I, I still have to wear them at night I've got my toothbrush I've got my little face mask brush and then I have some more skincare over here so I have my Unite 7 Seconds Detangler I use that every single time I wash my hair my liquid volume that's for like big volume. I'm currently using the It Cosmetics Miracle Water for my eye makeup remover. My cleanser, use that every single day. That's my toner, love that. Um, this is my sunscreen. It's like a sunscreen serum, so it's not too strong or too thick. And then I've been really liking this one. I actually just bought a new replacement because I'm almost out. Wash your face. It's like aloe face wash. And then this is where I keep my little derma roller. I've been doing this at nighttime with my hyaluronic acid and my vitamin C. And I feel like it makes a huge difference. So when you step back, and I'm still in my robe, guys. Um, 
this. We just have like the gigantic mirror and then the silver lights. We there's the whole bathroom needs an upgrade, but for now it is fine and dandy. The cupboards are honestly kind of a disaster. It's where I keep all of my self tanning stuff, all of my hair care, my tools, and then cleaning supplies. That's all a mess. White strips. I mean, it's honestly a disaster. I need to like re organize all of this stuff because as you can see it's all a mess that's all the kids stuff that's like more stuff it's just all it's all a disaster i need to like go through and organize it all but um yeah that's the bathroom vanity then over here that goes through to our master closet that's where i keep all of my empties so whenever i use something i just keep it there so i can just put it in there to film we have this big cleaner or not, sorry not a cleaner a steamer i got that from i think it was bed bath and beyond I showed it in a video. We got this little rack. It's super cute actually. It's from Amazon, but it just hangs up all of your towels. And then I changed out the picture that was in our master bedroom and I decided to put it in our master bathroom instead. And then I just have a little hook. That's one of Judy's robes because I have a lot of different robes that I switch out obviously because I wear them and then you have to wash them. And then here is disastrous. I need to organize this as well. It's currently just such a mess. But I have a ton of products in there and hair, you know, this is where I keep all my hair color, wipes, it's just a mess. That needs to be organized. If you guys want to see like one of those organizing videos, let me know because that is a project in itself. And then over here is our shower. So again, we didn't really get a whole lot of choice when it came to our bathroom. Even though we did build it from scratch, we like we came in here when it was just like, you know, the pieces of wood up and everything, but they had already like predetermined what was gonna be in it. So we weren't able to pick tile or anything like that because they'd already ordered this insert. Same with the bathtub. So we eventually, I think we're probably gonna take out the bathtub since we never take baths. It's just annoying, it collects dust and then you have to clean it all the time and you don't ever use it. And then just make this whole thing a massive shower. I don't know, we keep changing our mind. Do we want a bath, do we not want a bath? Um, because there are moments like when you hurt your back that you might want a bath. So either way, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to do something because it's not, it's not bad. It's just not the cutest in the world. The nice thing I will say about these inserts, I don't know, what are they? Fiberglass or something is that they're so easy to clean because there's no little tile, you know, with tile, obviously you have the little, you know, the crevices where the grout and you really have to scrub those. This is super easy. Like I just keep that spray in there and then a sponge and when I'm in the shower I just spray it and clean it and then it's really nice to um to, to clean it doesn't take very long so that is the benefit to these type of things um, and then I just have a squeegee so that if you squeegee your door it stops from getting watermarks um so that really helps and then I might as well show you what is in here so we have a poof this is like a exfoliating thing for your back, but I use it all over my body and it works amazingly. I think I got it in a FabFitFun box. Um, this is what I use for the kids, specifically Lily, just because I feel like girls are constantly hugging each other and I'm so paranoid about her getting lice. So it's the Fairy Tales Rosemary Repel Daily Shampoo and Conditioner. And so far we've not had lice. So I'd like to say it works, I'm not sure, but obviously we haven't had lice, so I guess it does. Um, a lot of razors, a little foot, scrubber thingamabobber, um, the Wander Beauty Scenic Root Hair Treatment and Body Wash Shampoo, my Murad Scrub, I love that. I did have the Kristen S Purple Shampoo behind, but obviously my hair's not blonde right now, so I don't use it. My Banana Body Shop Conditioner and Shampoo. Uh, uh, what is this scrub? It's like Plush Body Scrub, a Rhythm of the Rain Hair Mask and Scalp Detox. The Pure Lease Coconut Oil and Coffee Sugar Body Scrub. That one smells amazing. If you need to wake up in the morning, I highly recommend that one. The Murad Acne Control Clarifying Cleanser. Um, the Ginger Shampoo and Conditioner from The Body Shop. Barbasol, I don't even know that's in here. We don't even use it. Um, there's a Kerastase Scalp Treatment that Jay uses and then a Scrub Back Blade. It's just like for shaving. I got him the back blade for his birthday and honestly, what a waste of money this thing is. It's total crap, don't buy it. I, it was actually an ad on one of my videos and I was like, ooh, that's really good, I'm gonna buy that. And it's like horrible and it just basically scratches your skin. Like, it's super bad. I don't recommend it.
whatsoever. These rugs are from, where are they from? World Market. Yeah, so those both are from World Market. I don't think they were very expensive. I think they were like 20 bucks or something, $16.99. And then I just have this big fluffy one for when I'm getting ready, doing all my skincare. This one's probably from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. They're gonna hopefully replace all of this because look at that, that's like such crappy, <laughs> so such crap work. Um, but yeah, if you're standing from this side, then this is what it looks like. Oh, I forgot to show you the wall art. Um, so we just have everything white in here and eventually I'd like to do some wallpaper or something fun. Um, we just haven't really done it. We're waiting until, because obviously when you buy a new build, you have 11 months to get anything fixed that isn't, you know, proper. So we're just waiting until our 11 months is up. That way, like, we can get everything fixed that needs to be fixed before we start changing things ourselves. Even though we plan on changing out this floor, in the meantime, that needs to be fixed. Like that's, if you pay for something, you shouldn't have it cruddy. And I don't know how long it's gonna take for us to save up the money to like redo our bathroom. So we're just going to, you know, not do anything until everything's been fixed that we know needs to be fixed. <clears throat> and then obviously until we, you know, save, it up, save up enough money to do it all. But this is the bathroom, or sorry, this is the bath. So we do have a cute little window. The curtains are from, where are they from? Target. And then these little pictures, I think the, I got these at like Marshalls or TG Maxx a while ago. And then that towel is from H&M. It's really cute, but it does not absorb at all. So I just use it for decoration. The little vase is from Target. The plants are from Ikea. The S and J is probably from Marshalls, and then that little faux cactus is also from Marshalls. And then usually on that hook is where I keep this robe that I am wearing. And there's little Fioni Oni. There's the Oni Oni. Hi. What are you doing? Hello. <laughs> so there is our bathroom. I hope you guys like it. It's very nice and bright in here. Um, I wanted to just have everything super bright. That way I could keep everything very neutral and white, and then with pops of like tiles or pops of wallpaper so we just ha we just kept everything downstairs just plain white but i like how bright it is we do have a lot of good light in this house especially in this bathroom actually because that is quite a big bathroom window and they never ever made it um like you can see directly through it it's it doesn't have a film so it does let on it does let in a lot of light which i really like um but yeah it's a pretty good bathroom it's a good size i wouldn't say it's like the biggest bathroom we've ever had but it is a good size I wish there was a little bit more storage, like in our vanity. That's the thing I struggle with is that I just have so many products and um, I feel like I just don't have enough space. So ideally I think we'd like to get a different vanity where we have like big huge drawers to keep all of our stuff in or something like that. But for now, we'll just deal with it. But there you go. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video.